Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from 1001 Sandwiches of 1936, we're going to be making the banana and ham sandwich. Okay, first thing we have to do is to double ham add banana and mash it up. Now we put it onto white bread. That's right, unbuttered white bread. What a day. Okay, let's give this banana and ham sandwich a go. Sweet. All right, so this is a little bit sweet, which is kind of interesting because this was 1936 and the variety of banana that existed at that time was called the Gros Michel. Now the Gros Michel had a, a problem with blight or something and basically became unviable as a cash crop around the late 50s, early 60s. And so we have the Cavendish today, which is a lot less sweet and a lot less banana-y. I did a series featuring the Gros Michel bananas because they're not extinct uh, about two years ago. You can still buy them from Miami fruit, but yeah, this is... Um, Interesting. Let me, uh, let me see if I can plus it up. So I'm gonna add something that might seem counterintuitive. Frank's Red Hot Dill Pickle Flavored Hot Sauce. I figure they've got banana flavored vinegar and it's ham, so. I kind of misspoke there. It's not banana flavored vinegar. It's uh, vinegar made from bananas. But anyway, let's give this banana and ham sandwich plussed up with Frank's Red Hot Dill Pickle Flavored Hot Sauce a go. <laughs> no. What can I say? You gotta try stuff, right? Yeah, I thought the sharpness of the dill and the vinegar and the hot sauce would kind of counteract the sweetness and go with the smokiness of the ham, but it was just this cacophony of flavors that didn't really quite go together. All right, so the original banana and ham sandwich, four. It's not really that good. Uh, I like bananas and I like ham. I just, for some reason, this doesn't work for me. Uh, ham and pineapple works great for me. I don't know why that does, but this doesn't. Maybe it's because it's sharper. Minus down with the Frank's Red Hot Dill Pickle Flavored Hot Sauce, two. Uh, it's, it's something I could eat. It's not terrible, terrible, but it's not something I want to eat. Oh well, I'll finish it for lunch because I hate throwing out food. All right, see you tomorrow.